Here is a walk around of the trailer. So this is a United UXT 8 by 16 foot trailer. I had this custom made for our business. You can see the large serving windows. There are two of these big ones on each, each side, as well as one large one back here with two openings. So you can have this completely open, as well as a man door over here that I'll also show you. I had this custom ordered to be like this, so lots of open air coming through the vehicle. Lots of different windows that you can serve out of. Um, and I'll kind of show you how I have it set up and go from there. So uh, it's a cow corn trailer. We also had beef jerky. Um, these are all stickers that can be pulled right off. So if you wanted to change any of them, um, ours was called Indescribable Kelcorn, so that's why we have that big eye, um, as well as the little beef, uh, the bull down there. So there you can see the UXT United. Uh, this trailer hasn't been cleaned yet on the outside, but it has on the inside, so I'll give you a walkthrough. So you can see it's just open. These ones locked right now, but you just pull them opens right up and these do have locks as well so these can be locked into place so two wheels on each side man door can be locked as well as you can also have it as a screen door so if you want to keep this open get some air without having to worry about bees or anything like that also have that done hitch down here pretty straightforward trailer brake lights coming through up and down. This is an exterior plug, so you can plug into, I believe it's 240. I'm gonna adapt it through there, and I have all those chargers, as well as more plugs up here for 110. As you can see, the door gets a different angle of it right here. So I do have step stool right here, and so kind of walking into the trailer, off to the right, you also have another battery in here that can power own set of lights up in here and then these tube lights whenever you plug in also turn on the breaker box and I also put in this little thermometer right here I have lots of different things to keep things in place whenever the trailer is moving sugar and popcorn use these as my serving bins these are all you know safety uh, food safe and everything use this now this is how I would kind of have it set up if I was at an event um, if I was traveling with it, I'd normally have these down and I would hook up the machine to some of these bungees and uh, cords as well to keep this in one place since it's so top heavy. Um, over to the right, this is also food safety, um, popcorn and sugar and corn oil. I have a lot more product than this, but just want to give an overview of what it look like. It's kind of three layers, but lot, pretty much anything that you want on here. You have the three base sink. So this was another hand sink. This is all ran uh, by one of these water heaters that are used in lots of different areas. So you just hook it up down here and it's powered by a propane tank. I have a smaller one back here. And you'll have your clean water and your gray water in here. Come up, turn it. This thing is you can move it. There's plenty of room in each of these for all your different utensils. Paper towels right there. Uh, coming over to the cooker, three different levels right here, so plenty of room to put anything that you want in here. Normally I'd have the corn oil sitting right here, and I have a tap that I've made for it. I can open it up, pour it in, keep going, and then have the product right here as well. And when I need a refill, it's all right behind me. So, larger propane tank over here, with a little gauge on it, so you know how close you are without having to climb back here and see how heavy it is. Turning it on, and this is something that I'll go over with you, um, how this machine works. It is extremely easy. I've had multiple machines. Um, this one is super easy because it continuously comes out here and into the sifting table while the rest of it is still popping. So you're not doing it all at once. It kind of does it over time, and for such a small machine, it makes the same amount of popcorn as one of those huge basin ones that you're stirring by hand or actually does have a sifter already in it. Gas comes through here, you flip this switch, start spinning, and the propane lights right under here. So you can kind of give a view inside and inside of here. So start pouring out, dump it into here. These three bays will have um, tubs in here, which all the unpopped kernels, um, you know, the shells, little pieces. 
Um, any gunk, things that you might not want, fall into these. Just kind of sift it around, salt it, um, and then we'll be ready to go and serve. I keep all of my serving bags right here, as well as my twist ties. So it's right here, quick and easy to grab back and forth. And I keep all the bags as well for a quick reload if I need to, right here. Garbage right here. I have uh, some tubs out here. Um, that I put into here, so usually keep all the money in this one. Just some other things in here like aprons, um, extra trash bags, um, anything else that you might need, some tools, um, things just, you know, if you need to quickly do something with the machine. Have a large freezer, has two glass panels, these that you can kind of move around, it's quite big and deep as well. Um, I used to use this for both Dairy Queen products as well as beef jerky and beef sticks. I have a little mini fridge over here. I use it main, mostly for popping water, keep it cold. Um, and there's plenty of room right here as well to put, you know, maybe another table or another storage unit like that in here. Um, there are also vents, two of them up top. Uh, both of the vans have stopped working, but I installed. Um, these permanent ones up here that um, still allow the air to continuously flow while keeping them always open um, and you don't have to worry about rain or anything coming in which is really nice I have those fully epoxied and everything up there so uh, there won't be any water leaking you can still kind of get a view of um, where everything would go and kind of how you can really just change it to you know set up exactly how you want I found that this is really uh, easiest way that I found over my 10 years of well six years of being in this trailer um, and if you need to if you're at a really busy event you can even pull each of these back a little bit so that somebody can get behind there but if you're not in a really big event then this leaves a ton of open room for you um, to have you know just lots of space and not be too crowded in the trailer so it, like I said 8 by 16 feet gives you plenty of room um, all throughout you're not having to worry plenty of room not having to bump into anyone anything like that if you have any more questions please feel free to just send them my way um, the wheel wells right there and that's kind of there's also this little arm right here a little high five dollar popcorn guy it's a light typically i would hang sizes of popcorn bags right here so if i had this window open people could see from both sides um, i put sizes and prices right here um, i've served out of pretty much every window but these back two typically just do these three right here and of course there would be a little bit of stuff these would be closed around here and we have this level so that when this is closed it's right up against it in fact i'll show you really quick so you can see just how easy that was there's a step stool right here and don't mind all the stuff on the ground just because i've been cleaning it Completely level right here, move it up a little bit so it's lined up. Great place for women to put their purses or if they bought anything at the fair, event, festival, whatever that they're at. And, like I said, lights are over here. Plate is on here. If you have any more questions, please let me know.